known for their prices and selection. But I tell you what, you may not have known the distinction that this store received with Ford and Lincoln this year. We received the President's Award for 2023 for Ford for the fifth year in a row. We also received it for Lincoln for the first year. And I tell you, those awards don't come easily. It all boils down to taking care of the customers and having the vehicles you want in stock for you to buy. The following is a paid program and does not necessarily reflect the views of WSIC. I want to see the kind of industries that are opening up. This is Local Biz Now with Joe Vagnone, where your business matters. Local Biz Now. You have to determine what is working, what isn't working. Joe Vagnone is a respected business broker, helping individuals buy and sell businesses. Joe has successfully owned and operated many companies in a variety of industries. This is Local Biz Now. Biz Now. Because your business matters. And you are listening to the number one live talk business show in North Carolina. Come to you from Burner's Cigar Studio. Burner's Cigar Company is home of the fine premium cigars where fine cigar smokers gather for a fine selection of cigars and knowledgeable staff. Whether you're new to premium cigars, a seasoned connoisseur, or a cigar aficionado, we invite you to join the experience at Burner Cigars. Hey, uh, go out, check out their locations. they got one in Burkdale. they got one out on Highway 16 in Denver. And I understand that there's another one on the way. So, uh, as with Burner's, this radio show, Local Biz Now, hopes to inspire, inform, and entertain you because that's what we do here at News Talk, WSIC 105.9 FM, 107, uh, 100.7 FM, and 1400 AM. You're listening to Local Biz Now. Uh, we've been going strong for over 11 years. We have over 868 interviews with small business owners and the community leaders. We have over 675 interviews that are on YouTube. Search for Joe Vagnone, business broker, on YouTube to watch many of these interviews. Uh, we're also live on Facebook right now, live on YouTube, and live on X. And uh, you can listen to us also on the WSIC app, which is available on uh, in uh, Apple Store and the uh, Google Store. The, um, uh, so by now, if you're a regular on the show, you, you know that uh, uh, Joe is normally here. I'm filling in for Joe, and I'm very grateful for that. I'll do my best to be interactive. If you make comments on, oh, I do already have comments on Facebook. I'll try to be interactive there, but we'll see how that goes. And if you're one of our uh, regular listeners, also maybe you've seen me before. I'm James Sanders. I'm president of Shared Resources. We bring enterprise quality um, technical support and security to Main Street businesses at Main Street Budgets. And I have the honor today to fill in for Joe because uh, Joe is away celebrating his 30th anniversary with his wife, Ronnie. Today we have two guests. Uh, we have uh, Melissa Hamilton from the Peach Cobbler Factory and Don Smith of Mr. D's World Famous Gourmet Popcorn. Joe, 30 years. 30 years. You know, when... Uh, uh, Joe was telling me that if he had known that his wife was going to stay with him for 30 years, he probably would have been a better husband from the very beginning instead of waiting so long and having her wear him in. But let's move on. Uh, Don? Yes. Yes. All right. You are Don Smith. I am. From Mr. D's World Famous Gourmet Popcorn. That is true. And you are a veteran owned and operated? I am a U.S. veteran. Well, thank you Probably for your... Sir. Oh, U.S. veteran. Yeah. Okay. Veteran, the uh, U.S. military. U.S. military. All right. Yeah. yeah. What service were you in? I was in the Army. Army? And now, what did you do? I was a tank operator and ended up being the battery commander uh, driver. All right. And so that was a great experience. If I had to go over again, I would. Were you a colonel? Uh, no. So you were not, that's too bad, because if you were a colonel and then later got into the popcorn business... Oh, yeah. That would have been great. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it have been great to be able to give the old man some popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I've known you for uh, oh, about four years now. Yes, sir. And I've known that you were into popcorn for about a year now. Yes, sir. Been about a year. August 19th is one full year that old Mr. D been making some popcorn gourmet style, small batch. You know how it works. And, and uh, I do know how it works uh, <laughs> f f from talking to you. Yes, let's let's yeah. talk about that today. But uh -huh. uh, um, did the idea about uh, popcorn just pop into your head, or where no, did that come from? No, it is something that, uh, you know, of course I like to eat, 
and because I like to eat, I like to cook, and I like popcorn. Okay. And, and so, you know, and I started, you know, just investigating and, you know, messing around with, you know, just trying little in-home recipes and stuff. So it, and I got to doing the research on it and found out that uh, it was something that could be lucrative. All right. Now, but, but uh, this is not your first business. You are a oh. serial entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah, I had plenty of cereal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, prior to Mr. D's Gourmet Popcorn, yes, you also have a uh, have a shave ice truck. I have, I have, and I wanted uh, the thing of that was I had a friend of mine who uh, was from Hawaii. And he told me, he said, I've been inland for about a year, and I have had a complicated time finding true, authentic, genuine Hawaiian shave, not shaved, shave, S-H-A-V-E, snow. And I said, well, uh-huh. that's, that's, that's interesting. How, how long have you been running that truck? Five years. Five years. Five right. years this year was five years. Uh, so one day you're out, you're running the truck. Mm-hmm. And uh, you've got this uh, light, uh, sweet drink. Yes. And you think, you know what? No, go with, go with this. Be some gourmet popcorn. Well, actually, I heard some people talking about, well, we're going to find some good popcorn. Yeah. And I said, well, you know, I've got some popcorn here. So we started serving ours. Just regular old theater pop. You know, we put, fix it the old-fashioned style, put real butter in it. Put a little coconut oil so it has some natural sweetness and put real sea salt and popping it. Oh, this is really good. And so the thought come, well, why don't I start adding some caramel to it or start adding And this is just as a hobby for yourself? Well, it is. Okay. It started out well, it started out being a hobby. Right. But now it's part of the program. What would you say is uh, the the most the key thing that sets your popcorn apart from other popcorns? It is small batch. Genuine gourmet popcorn that where we use real product, real butter, real sea salt, a tad bit of coconut oil for natural sweetness, and it is all manufactured small batch. All right. Just like Grandma done. Uh, small batch. Small batch. How, well, how small is batch? Is that uh, a barrel full? Oh, no. A whiskey no, no, barrel no. full? No. Oh, no. Oh, no, now we're talking something else. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay, your your other small batch. We won't get we won't get well, that. Yeah, we'll right get to yet. that after a while. But how big is small batch? A uh, small batch can be a gallon, uh, max of ten gallons. But traditionally, we do five and ten gallons, unless it's a specialty flavor. Let's say that you have something that you really like. You know, something that you can remember. Like, say you like kettle corn made with molasses. Mm-hmm. I do. Oh, that yeah. sounds real. Well, then we make molasses kettle corn. Mm. And you know what molasses is made of? It's, it is uh, condensed milk and sugar. I, sugar. I do now. Yes, you do. I do now. It's all sugar. Now, you know, just every bit of it. Hey, we've got less than a minute before we go to break, but uh, Don... What is your website address? How, where can people go to start looking at this popcorn while we're talking about it? Well, they can go to M-I-S-T-A, and that is pronounced Bista, like a sister, but Mista, M-I-S-T-A, D-S, G-O-U-R-M-E-T, popcorn.com. Mista, D-S, Gourmet Popcorn. Mr. D's Gourmet Popcorn. Very good. Dot Very com. Good. Dot well, com. I'm, I am hungry, and we have this uh, bag of it here. Yes. So uh, during the break, let's open this and get ready to taste some of it, and I'll ask you some more questions when we come back. Absolutely. Let's get her I done. I appreciate you being on here. Thank you for your time. It is uh, Monday afternoon. Uh, local Biz Now, your business matters. Turn to Local Biz Now with entrepreneur Joe Magnone in just a moment on 105.9, 100.7, WSIC. 
We're kicking off a brand new week and more opportunities for rain. Really, what could soak us by the end of the weekend to the upcoming weekend with a couple different systems on the way and a system that could be falling oh, yeah. in the Gulf of Mexico yeah. that may bring you think? some rain in the <laughs> <possibly laughs> way. But what? By, that's the in the meantime, yeah, yeah, it's a mix of clouds. <laughs> so we got a whole hour. Of time for Monday, Melissa? we'll really ward off the rain know, chance. Yeah. Until don't spotty know, shower but possible but this sure evening. We'll keep that chance around for Tuesday with high temperatures both days about 80. That's your forecast from the WSIC Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Chase Myers. The WSIC app is available now wherever you, you get your apps. Bags featuring local deals That's from awesome. great local yeah. businesses. 30 like Serenity years. Now, massage therapy. 30 years. Yeah. Um, you know, Ronnie told me that she Here's just realized WSIC 30 years later that she's calendar. not just Burke Joe's Hill wife, but also his unpaid therapist. Live under the <laughs> so on Friday. that's, that's the what 30 years is. <laughs> I agree. Dining with Hey Ladies taking the stage at 6 p.m. Bring your chairs and enjoy on-site beverages from Red Rocks. Live Under the Oaks kicks off at 6 p.m. Friday. This Saturday, the Tava Walk begins at 2 p.m. in Old Town Cornelius. Join the area's premier arts and music festival and get ready to experience Lake Herman's most action-packed and fun-filled community celebration for the entire family. Oh, my Lord. The activities include two stages of live bands and entertainment, local artists, craftsmen and vendors, local breweries, multiple food truck courts, a petting zoo, kids zones, games, giveaways, and so much more. The Tava Walk begins at 2 p.m. Saturday. That's a stopwatch that he'll restart later. Stars Ministry oh. presents a fundraising carnival for children and adults Three billion with special needs on September 28th. Uh, the carnival begins at 11 a.m. Saturday at 2615 Amity Hill Road in Statesville with free admission. There will be food, activities, and fun for the whole family. Please help raise funds for children and adults with special needs Saturday at the Northview Church of Christ in Statesville. The Breakaway Carolina Music Festival returns to Z-Max Dragway this Friday and Saturday, bringing a party like no other. The festival features two days of music, activities, and much more, beginning at 4 p.m. on both days. Visit charlottemotorspeedway.com for information, tickets, and details for the Carolina Breakaway Music Festival this Friday and Saturday. The Renaissance Golden Festival is back yeah, one in Saturdays time. and Sundays, <laughs> October 5th through Thank you November so much. 24th. Justing knights, mermaids, fairies, dragons. Oh my. Tickets available online only at renfestinfo.com. Don't miss it. To keep up with all the events happening around the community and much more, including amazing local deals, download the WSIC News app today. <laughs> Local news now with Joe Bagnone continues now on 105.9, we 100.7 are back WSIC. With local biz now, local and I'm here. sitting here, and we are back with local biz now, and I'm sitting here with uh, Don Smith, Mr. D's Gourmet Popcorn, and we talked about some flavors uh, earlier. But what is your most uh, popular flavor? What do you sell the most of? Good old fashioned buttery theater pop, out sales it all. If, it, if it's done right now, I mean real buttery theater popcorn. The same thing that you get while you're sitting in the theater. And you can ship that. Are you sure can? Where can you ship it to? Anywhere in the U.S. Anywhere in the U.S. In the All old right. USA, you can get some. All right. No, I don't mean a butter yet, but my favorite one yes. is uh, white cheddar, mm -hmm. and I like that uh, sea salt and black pepper. Mm -hmm. That's a really tasty one also. All right. That is the number two. Uh, your top five, Let's but hear. buttery is always the go. That's the one that goes home. Yeah. Then comes your sea salt and black pepper. Then comes your white cheddar, your yellow cheddar, and then comes your kettle. That is your top five. I would probably switch for me mm -hmm. the gourmet kettle corn more towards the front, mm -hmm. but that is absolutely the five that I love. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Hey. uh Good decision. Right. You've been thank you. <laughs> Let me get on there and order some right now. Come on, get you uh, some. Now you yeah, you've been at uh you've been at this for a year, you said? A year solid absolutely in the gourmet popcorn side of it. All right. Uh, and and what have you found to be your biggest challenge so far? The biggest challenge for me is getting people to try something different. When you talk about gourmet popcorn, I mean, I mean, there's on my website, we've got, I think, 29 of the top sellers. 29? 29 of people that, this is stuff that's frequently ordered, people that like this, hey, can I get this and that. So we narrowed it down to 29 and put it on there because it's popular. Okay, right. 
but uh, but trying to get people to get out of the tradition of I like this and this only. I got you. I mean, if you can get a lot of times, and so we hand out samples. I mean, if we're set up at an event, and and that's why we have the small packs, the little sampler packs that you call a regular pack. That is really a sample <laughs> pack. Yeah. It is a simple serving, and uh, we get, here, try this. If you like it, you know what? You can buy some. If you don't like it, you're out nothing. I'm willing to invest in you. Gotcha. All right. It, that is tough, because if I have to choose mm -hmm. uh, what, uh, what I'm about to spend my money on, mm -hmm. I'm going to pick what I, with a tried and true, what I'm accustomed to. So I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, I think I've tried a couple flavors that I would not have otherwise tried right. from you. Uh, the candy... Uh, the candy apple? The candy apple. Candy apple. That was a great flavor. Right. Yeah. And so the beauty of candy apple, we take wild cherry uh, sugar and the flavoring, the same thing you get on a real candy apple, by the way, we do candy apples. We take that and make and coat or sugar coat the popcorn with that. And then we take sour apple and make sour apple and mix the two together, tumble them together. Mm-hmm. And so you get the effect of the great fiber that popcorn brings along with the sour apple and the wild cherry, and it gives you the effect of a candy apple, you will. Did you just pitch uh, candy apple popcorn as good for my diet? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> well, I have, uh, uh, I have a, a small... Uh, collection of stuff here for us. That's to try. right. That's so a I'm gift gonna, pack. That's I'm, a gift pack. Go ahead and uh, get in there. Yeah, and get gift you bag. If you're looking on uh, Facebook, yeah, there you go. This get, is it here. Yeah, What's a something uh, gift pack like this sell for? Uh, that gift pack there, well, you're probably somewhere around twenty five for that. All right. Depending on what you get in it, uh, these right here are flavors that are fairly common. Yeah, yeah. And so this, I have this, uh, buttery theater, the most popular one the I've most heard popular this one. morning. Yes. That has some nice. Real butter, sea salt that is cooked together with some, a little bit of coconut oil, so you have a natural sweetness. And when it gets a the right temperature, then we dump the seed in. So when it pops, it absorbs the liquid. It's already hot enough that it absorbs it, See, so was, that it's not the, laying on top of it. This is a problem. I was just feeling adventurous. Mm -hmm. But now you've made me want yeah. the one that's... Here's white cheddar, or yellow cheddar. That's the Sorry, yellow cheddar. Yellow cheddar. And that yellow cheddar right there is a platinum yellow real cheddar. And then once... Uh, that's buttery theater pop with the yellow cheddar on it. Then we come back once it... And while it's wet, when it runs through the tumbler, we put in some powder, some cheddar powder. So that you have the cheddary along with the cheddar paint mm. along with mm. the buttery theater pot. Here's uh, Nana's caramel. Nana's caramel. Or caramel, caramel. as I've heard it that is, named sometimes. That is correct. Uh, and what do we have here? We've got uh, candy corn with drizzle. Yeah, mm. now that is. Tell me about that. Now, this drizzle right here, what you have going on with this popcorn, again, it is buttery theater pot with all the classics that go with that. And. It has white vanilla chocolate that's drizzled over mm. it and some candy corn. It's a fall thing. Mm, you know, no. And then I covered this one, the gourmet kettle. Okay, I'll try that. There you go. Try that. I'll out try right that. There. And then we well, got the handy dandy little. I see. I see a little the, bucket. The little bucket there. Yeah. And then that way, you know, while you're watching some Netflix or some Prime videos or what have I you, I love it. You can dump it off in there and just kind of be able to get at it very conveniently. Well, while I'm trying this candy corn with drizzle, um, uh, how do you manage production? Do you, do you make it as you need it, or uh, do you know what's coming already? Well, from you, you kindly, it's a double-edged sword. What I do, I know what's popular. So we keep a limited amount ready to go, but it's just as easy to turn it out package it and put it out the next day then that okay. way then that way it's fresh it's not something that that you leave laying around you know you don't want to ever ship three or four or five day old corn no you pop it no you, yeah how long is it how long does it last in this bag? well that is a four meal heat sealed bag and it's 
in an environment where the humidity is very low. We have a humidifier that drops the humidity, keeps it around 72, a four meal bag, and it is heat sealed. So that should last you. Theoretically, it should stay fresh a minimum of 30 days. All right. Until you open it, once you open it, you, of you course, said, the time you open it, it really it don't matter because it won't last long. <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> but you said it was for fall, and on Facebook, you can see I've got some candy corn, got some candy actual corn. chunks of candy corn in here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, oh, yeah, mm. there you oh. go. Yeah. All right, that's the right sound well, there. Mm, mm. Now, the next question for you is: Yes, mm, can you tell me about any? <laughs> can you tell tell us about any partnerships or collaborations? Well, the partnerships, I, I'm, I'm very independent. So I partner with my customers. That is my partners. Okay. Because right. my customers, because you can have the best equipment in the world. You can have all the product that's made. You have all the education that you need. But if you do not have a customer base, you have no business. If Joe were here, he would say something really smart. What would in response say? to that? Well, let me get that. I have no idea. I'm just going to enjoy this popcorn and think about if Joe were here. If Joe were here, yeah. Well, um, we'll we'll leave Joe. We'll we'll leave Joe something. He can talk about it after a while. Yeah, he's. I think he would be unhappy to be here. Thirty years. Mm. Uh, in thirty years, Ronnie has created a monster. Right. She always let Joe think that uh, he's right about everything. Right. <laughs> and then when he comes in here to the studio and runs this radio show, uh -huh. It's like he's right about everything. Yeah. Just he's just complete confidence. Like he's absolutely right about all things. Well, he's been groomed and trained well for thirty years by Ronnie. I yeah. assume I blame her. That's right. Um, and you do sell around Pop Cornelius, right? I do. Okay, very good. I live in the wonderful town of Mooresville. All right, so very local. Very local, and we have a good time in Mooresville. We love Mooresville. All right. Hey, uh, how when you were talking about uh, partnership with the customers, how do you get feedback from them? We seek their feedback from, we ask them to go on our business Facebook page and we want their opinion. We want their honest opinion. What do you think? You can do right. that uh, publicly. You can always call. I'm open to phone calls. I don't hide from my phone calls. Uh, text messages, emails. It's just important to me. The most important thing to me about the whole thing is how do you feel about it? Everybody's taste buds are different. What I like, you may not like. End user experience. I get it. I, I get, get it. it. So the uh, Julie wants to know, I got a uh, yes. message from Facebook here. Yes. Uh, what makes kettle corn so sweet? In my kettle corn, mm -hmm. my kettle corn, the kettle corn traditionally is made from corn oil, corn, and sugar. That is what to, traditionally kettle corn is made of. I make my kettle corn, put a little bit of molasses in it, and make it on a... I, make, I do use sugar, but I use vanilla, mm -hmm. vanilla bean extract, butter, and I use, uh, I use, I use plenty of sugar. I, th I, think, I think we should take your explanation of what you're putting in this popcorn and use it for the background for yoga. Yoga. Because it is, it is relaxing, oh, and it, yeah. I am just happy to hear that voice and hear those pieces. Um, I got a tough question for you. You ready? Unscripted. Yes. What role do you think artificial intelligence is going to play in the future of popcorn manufacturing and distribution? You know, I haven't really given a lot of thought to that, but I think with what I understand with artificial intelligence, they can make it be about whatever they want it to be. Gotcha. So whatever I want to prove in, I just throw some AI in it. And just throw some AI in it and polish it right up. <laughs> Well, corn congratulations for answering that. There you go. That Send it right on question out question. there. <laughs> <laughs> and um, real quick, because we got 45 seconds left before we yes. go to break, but yeah. what's your favorite memory or experience related to your business that really stands out to you? I'm going to tell you the, the thing that I seek is the, the unannounced expressions of people's faces whenever they taste our products that comes off our food trailer or the popcorn that they try right then and there. Be it a shave ice, be it a caramel apple, candy apple, the, 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 the smile on the faces of the children, of the adults, because we're all children, just some bigger than others. I agree. That is awesome. I appreciate it so much. Uh, Mr. D's Gourmet Popcorn.com. Yes. Have a great day.
Keep it right here. Global business. All right. Well, that is is my other person here. That is an end of yours, if she's here. If not, then oh, oh, oh. Well, you then we're gonna. A, then you went solo. She's here. No, she's not. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. now what are we gonna do? Well, I'm gonna ask you questions you about her job. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask you. Sound like you. Delicious. Well, I tell you what, I will tell you how good her product is. Yeah. Well, no, we won't touch on her. We'll let. We'll let her stand alone. We I'll tell you how good her product is. But other than that. Yeah. So, Mr. D's done? No, no. We're going to no. dig in on... Uh, oh, more. What are we going to talk about? Yeah, we're going to talk about uh, finances. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? We want to talk about happy people. Let's talk about happy people. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I've spent 43 years of my life. I have spent in customer service or some form of management since I was in my late 20s. Yes. I'm 65 years old. Be 66 before long. And the bottom line for me is I love people. I love people. And I appreciate the ability to be able to communicate with people. So the most important thing to me is what do you think? It is customer service. The thing that makes Mr. D makes me is that the commitment to unmatchable customer service no matter what, regardless of your product, whether you're selling walk-off mats, whether you're selling shave ice, whether you're selling popcorn, whether you're selling computer services, whether you're selling donuts, no matter what you do is consistency, quality of product to your people who allow you to serve them. Where is Joe when we need him? That is a great, that is a great, uh, conversation, and he would love that. But you know what? Joe's listening. You think he is? You think I, he's taking time from his... Uh... No, Joe's listening. If Joe's he's got... Got... Well, he's going to watch this later, for certain. Well, that's good. Yeah. Uh, Joe's yeah. got his earpiece in somewhere. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Incognito. Says, uh, Ronnie, I'll be right back. Yeah. I'll be in the bathroom for the next hour. Yeah. Hold on just a minute, honey. <laughs> You want some of this popcorn? Or have you had enough today? Oh, I've had enough right. today. I've had enough today. Do you ever have uh, popcorn for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? I always keep a popcorn snack bag in my car. You eat cornflakes? I do. Because <laughs> it's part of popcorn. <laughs> uh, oh, man. I tell you, we do all kinds of stuff, man. I've got, I did, uh, me and my wife, we did 150 bags of cotton candy last night. 150 bags of cotton candy. Well, no, I won't say last night, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Last night, I was in the bed asleep. Gotcha. gotcha. 30 seconds, gents. 10-4. But, yeah, cotton candy. I found out how to, you know, keep my cotton candy from shrinking. So, you know, you, mm -hmm. you got to admit, I like sugar. And a higher company match to their 401k savings plan. Tom Busby, Bloomberg Radio. Now more Local Biz Now with Joe Bagnone on 105.9, 100.7, WSIC. Local starts here. Absolutely. Welcome back to Local Biz Now, where your business matters. And we're going to keep on talking. We're going to dig in deeper. And then I'd like to talk to you a little bit about cigars, if you don't mind. Oh, I love cigars. All right, great. I am a cigar connoisseur. I love smoking cigars. It's very relaxing. When we were stepping away for the break, um, you were saying that uh, it's the look on people's faces. Absolutely. It's the effect on, on people. And on your website, mm -hmm. uh, you talk, you're very community-centric. Yes. And um, and I can tell uh, during the break on, on Facebook, anyone who was listening uh, would know that you are a people person. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And you, you were saying that you've been uh, selling for how long in your life? Oh, in my lifetime, I have spent 43 years in some form of customer service, some form of sales. I love people. I love people. I like making a difference. I'm your problem-solving guy. Your mountain is a molehill for me. We'll find a way. <laughs> That's 100% of your day, but it's 1% of mine. And when we get done talking, it'll be 1% of your day as well. Well, I love that. 
I love that. That's how you if, do it. So, and, and you said, you alluded to earlier, if someone comes up with a, uh, a particular flavor, mm -hmm. uh, they can get a hold of you at Mr. D's. Mr. M-I-S-T-A, Mr. D's Gourmet Popcorn dot com. Yes, and they, they just send you what their idea is. That's right. There's an email on there. And if you're a type of person that you like to talk, there's a phone number. I'll talk to you. All right. What is what is the, uh, like I saw the pickle popcorn that you got on there? Oh, yeah. That dill, dill pickle popcorn? Oh, dill pickle. I've got some dill pickle customers. It's, do you really? Oh, yeah. I got some, <laughs> hey, I got some people that like spicy popcorn. I was surprised uh, to see the, uh, was it, it, was, it wasn't was red hot. What was it? Was... Uh, you're talking about the popcorn. Are oh, you talking about the special popcorn that I did for some guys that uh, uh, we call it swamp dust? <laughs> I don't know. It was oh, yeah. spicy. Well, yeah, we had, uh, let's see, what did we have? We had uh, Viper. Uh, we had the, the Trinidad Viper pepper, mm. ghost pepper, and the habanera. Good gracious. What's and it? so that was two off from the pocky chip. So we, I, I made some. I made some out of ghost pepper. My, some of my guys that I gave it to. Oh man, if you're going, this is hot as popcorn. You guys, you may as well sell Girl Scout cookies. And I said, <laughs> well, hold on a minute, boys. Let me go back to the lab. So I uh, went on back to the lab. I got in touch with my guy that I buy a, a lot of the flavors from. He's got more flavors than got words on that I can't pronounce. So I had to look them up. Mm -hmm. But. I got those flavors in, I put that together, and I took the popcorn up there, and uh, they cowed down after that. Okay, very good. Yeah. <laughs> I'd bring them some milk, rescue them. <laughs> what, what does cleanup look like? Like, you've made, you've made a small batch, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, how much time does it take to clean up after that? Uh, you're probably looking at a good 15 minutes of actual breaking it down because in between batches and everything is stainless steel and what you do is with the stainless steel stuff you break it down uh, and you obviously you use your disinfectants your degreasers mm -hmm. and then of course the water is so hot you don't put your hands in it sure and sure. once you sanitize it and you put the uh, the, uh, the the cleaner on it that that keeps the bacteria from growing, and you turn it upside down, and you actually let it dry on it. Gotcha. This is this is all the boring stuff. That all the boring right. stuff. I much, I that, much prefer that, listening to you talk about that, that the ingredients that go oh, into it. Oh yeah, because you know what? You've got butter, you've got salt, you've got sugar, you've got everything that breeds your foodborne pathogens, and you got to make sure that stuff. Well, that that, seg that segues in not foodborne pathogens, but cleanup ah. uh, bring, brings us to our. Other guest, yes, um, Melissa from the Peach Cobbler Factory, mm. and uh, I love your place. Thank you, and and I am grateful for you being here today. Uh, on LinkedIn, uh, you've got your top two interests are Mark Cuban and Kevin O'Leary. Did you know that? I did not. <laughs> I yeah, did so if not. Joe were if if Joe were here, he'd say that this means uh, that you have an entrepreneurial spirit that you are in, interested in investments, and that you are likely enthusiastic about business strategy. Wow. Now, I know, I know that you have your fingers in more than just the peach cobbler that is factory. Uh, what else do you have? Um, right now, currently, we have two assisted living facilities down in Monroe, North Carolina, and also a barber and hair salon that's located down the sidewalk from the peach cobbler factory. So you are also a serial entrepreneur. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where, where you guys find the time to uh, ha ha deal with more thing at once. We don't I'm sleep. Do I'm, I'm don't doing sleep. good to keep one company running and cash flow going and payroll making and yeah. Taxes. I guess we it must sleep. be. <laughs> no, nope. it must be. You sleep on the fly. That's it. Uh, that, that's truly it. How long have you been? You, I think you have two locations for the Peach Cobbler Factory. Is that correct? That is correct. We have purchased three territories, but only two are currently open. Um, the third location is questionable because of the amount of lack of manpower that we have. So, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and you've, uh, you have mentioned before that uh, staffing correct. is, is a uh, real challenge for that you. That is correct. Yeah. That is correct. In fact... Uh, I have caught you working the ovens. You yourself 
with uh, all these other businesses going. I've caught you working in the ovens, and I've caught you many times working the counter late at night. That is correct. So, well, we appreciate your dedication because Thank when the, when the hankering hits, I want to be able to go down and have some mm. beach That's coffee. right, and we're yeah. open till 10 p.m. every night. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, do, do you offer any uh, seasonal flavors? Absolutely. You know, pumpkin spice is rolling up. Oh, boy. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> tell me about it. I am pumpkin spiced out already. <laughs> but that is a seasonal thing that we have and we offer um, every year. I say every year. We've only been two years with this whole entire business. Okay. Um, so, yeah, but we have new products that we're going to introduce. I got gotcha. you. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, uh, you know, you probably know, you probably remember that I like the blackberry cobbler. Yes, mm -hmm. I remember. And I, I'm going to share... My experience of what I like to do is I like to get a uh, about a half a spoon full of blackberry cobbler, and then uh, take that spoon and go into that vanilla uh, ice, cream. ice cream that you have <laughs> with that little bit of cinnamon sprinkled on top. <laughs> and when those two meet, I almost always think to myself um, about the ice cream talking to the cobbler, and the cobbler talking <laughs> to the ice cream, and the cobbler saying, "You know, ice cream." You complete me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I eat them. Yes. <laughs> because it's so tasty. Awesome. But that is absolutely well, that, that is absolutely my favorite my favorite stuff there. Um that actually is the most popular cobbler as well. Well, there you have it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, what what uh what is the least popular? Which cobbler do we all hate? Uh, I'm not gonna say hate. You have a but, dill pickle uh, one? No, no dill pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Period. That's not sweet enough. Um I'm gonna say the least it's probably going to be the strawberry, which happens to be my personal favorite. Wow. I've seen people order the strawberry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is my personal favorite, but I'm going to How say that's that? the least seller. Huh. Yeah. Well, wow. I guess I'm, I, it's, it stands to reason a little bit because other stuff is so good. Right. You know? Right. Kind of tough. Um, in the time that you've had the Peach Cobbler Factory in downtown Cornelius, uh, 21303 Catawba Avenue, if I've, if I've got the address correct. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> In the time that you've had there, uh, is there any particular experience, customer experience that's stood out that that really struck home like I'm, like you're winning it, you're nailing it when that happened? Uh, the repeat business. Absolutely. Yeah, the repeat uh, business. We Joe, have a lot of loyal customers at this point. Joe, who's not here, knew the Peach Cobbler. Really? Uh, yes, uh, because he says that they order it uh, on the online apps all the time. Okay. And what percentage of your business comes from those? About sixty-five percent. Sixty-five percent. So 65%. when I see uh, when I see uh, ten people mm -hmm. hanging out uh, at the at the uh, chairs on the inside and uh, waiting to place their order, uh, that is thirty-five percent. Correct. Of the actual yes. business. Of the actual business. That, that is, is awesome. And the busiest hours is from 8 to 10 every night, I guess, when the sugar cravings kick in. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. Uh, now, you chose the location uh, because the landlord is uh, so smart and good looking. <laughs> I love my landlord. Don't talk <laughs> about him. <laughs> James. <laughs> uh, no, but you chose the location because there's a lot of stuff going on down there. It's it's uh, uh, fairly, uh, just not too far from the Kane Center. We've got uh, Second Fridays. We've got the Taba Walks. There, every festivity that goes on in the uh, Town Hall parking lot's right there for you. Um do you work with the other businesses or do you just tag onto those pieces the best you can? Um, I definitely try to solicit the other businesses as well, taking them samples, letting them know that we are there, encourage them to push their customers um, up the sidewalk a little bit. Yes. Um, with all the events happening there, that has been a true blessing for us. There is a lot of activity going on in the area and I know everybody's excited to see what the future holds and I'm hoping my landlord will sell me that building. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll put in a word for you. <laughs> uh, well, I would like to say that the local uh, community right. uh, loves you also Thank because you. you're there. And so that's what I get a lot. Uh, you know, I used to have a computer store there. And that's people right. are like, hey, your computer store is not there anymore. And I'm like, no, nah, right. it's the Peach Cobbler. And everybody's like, oh. And people still come in looking for you. <laughs> Well, I send them to you for Peach Cobbler. Well, thank you. And I tell them when, when you come through Cornelius, let me know and we'll meet mm -hmm. down there. Uh, so i uh, got a few few seconds left here, but uh, we'll come back from the break. We'll talk some more about marketing strategies and your future plans and your per personal touch. And thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Thank you for welcoming me.
live on Facebook. I'm checking to see if anybody wrote anything in the meantime. I love pumpkin spice. Christine at Kosha, is you familiar with her? She wrote, oh, she you're wrote. on live too. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, we're on Facebook. Yeah. Your camera's right here if you want to play with your camera. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and we're live right now. Also. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do like Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see. Oh, and you got your link up there. I love pumpkin spice. I just ordered. Uh, Popcorn. Now we're going to door dash some banana pudding. Oh, yeah. oh there you go. That's Joe saying that. That's Joe I coming told in. Joe was listening. <laughs> I told Where, you Joe where's was listening. Where's Mamie today? She left just before you she, got she here. She just left. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She's a regular. She always. Yeah, she's a regular. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. That's so, amazing. Yeah. Some delicious stuff. Yes. Oh my lord. It's yes. both of y'all's stuff is too delicious. What's in there? Uh fruit trees. Speaking of which. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh looky here, look at oh, here. Oh, yeah. oh. May I have a spoon? Melting. May I have a spoon out of that bag? You may. So we have chocolate chip, we have red velvet, New York cheesecake, and the three over here is the original banana pudding. Oh yeah. Original banana pudding. Oh yeah. Oh my lord. Oh. <laughs> don't, don't act like you've never seen that before. <laughs> the aesthetics coming through the and ear. At some, at some point, we're gonna. <laughs> at some point, we're gonna get a cue that we're supposed to go back online. I'm going to okay. turn this around, and I'll take New York cheesecake. Well, come on, get which one is? Oh well, here, take a spoon. New York oh, cheesecake is all on the bottom. I'm sorry, I was just gonna eat them all as best I, see. I could. I thank you, see. thank by you. By myself. Mm. Oh Lord, it is something else. Where's the banana? The New York cheesecake is my personal favorite. The banana pudding. This is just the regular on this side. All right. Oh, that. Hey, thank you for adjusting the camera. I appreciate that. Spot on. Thank <laughs> you so much. Oh, look at that boy. They got us. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What'd you guys oh, get? Oh Lord, I have delicious. New York cheesecake. Mm. Uh huh. I'm gonna go for the uh, mm. chocolate, chocolate chip. chip. Oh yes. my Lord. Mmm. Mm. Mm. I'll be grandma in the kitchen somewhere. You know, mm. that's what I thought. Um, mm. Unfortunately, it is a franchise, so here we are. <laughs> what does that mean? It, well, we found it down at Carolina Beach. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was the greatest concept we ever came across because mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. felt the same way as Mr. D felt. Who uh, 15 is... 15 seconds. Thank you. 15 seconds. In the kitchen making this stuff. Mm. And... Bought into it then when there were only 12 locations. Now we're up to 100. Now with Joe Bagnone on wow. 105.9, 100.7, WSIC. Local starts here. 100 and growing. Local biz now. We're back here. Talking about the Peach Cobbler Factory. While we've been away, if you followed us on Facebook, mm. uh, we got into some cups of this uh, banana pudding. Delicious. I got the, oh yeah, I got the chocolate chip one. Oh, I got the banana pudding. Banana pudding. Which one did you get? New York cheesecake. New York me. cheesecake. Mmm. Mmm. I still think grandma's somewhere in the kitchen. Mm. Here she is. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you are close to the community. Community loves you. You're doing your part. We appreciate it. Thank you. You're making Cornelius tastier than it ever was. A little bit sweeter. A little bit sweeter. That's right. Mm -hmm. A little alone. Mm -hmm. uh, when you opened and you put up some signage <clears throat> and we watched you on Facebook making announcements that you were going to open, what other marketing pieces are you doing now that you're open and been open for a while? Well, a lot of things that we realize, social media is wonderful, but word of mouth. That yeah. has been really big for us. Yes. Um, and we appreciate that. <clears throat> the community definitely is talking about it. But before we actually did all the social media stuff, we were actually out in the neighborhoods, hitting mailboxes, sticking flyers, any and everywhere we could where it was legal. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. 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 Right. So we did. We probably hit, I'd say, 15, 20 different neighborhoods just around Cornelius and Davison. Okay. Uh, for social media, you have a wall of your shop. Correct. That has uh, the Peach Cobbler Factory logo on it. Mm -hmm. um, and people take a picture with it. Absolutely. And uh, uh, tag it. Yes. Pop it up there. Yes. Uh, that's kind of fun also. I'm watching my I'm watching my belly get bigger mm -hmm. <laughs> and my child grow. Moderation. <laughs> That's and my child word. go through that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Moderation. Oh, we love Sophia. That's the dryer doing that, man. Is that right. what that is? That's right. the dryer All shrinking right. your clothes. There you are, Mr. D. Right. That's right. <laughs> uh, your future plans? Future plans is expansion. Um, you, a third location once you find some staffing for it. That is correct. And we've been propositioned with a fourth location in Mooresville. 
Um, mm -hmm. I know the owner who purchased that territory and she's having a little bit of difficulties as far as doing her build outs and stuff. So she suggested that we could possibly take it off her hands. So that would be the fourth location. Well, in regards to build out, if I'm not mistaken, you moved into the space that you are and two weeks later, it was completely fully up fit and yes. ready to go. Yes. Which I is phenomenal. Love my crew. That doesn't make yes. any sense at all. Well, you I've saw seen, it. I did see it, but mm -hmm. I've seen many, many, many small businesses That's right. go 90 days, 120 days, at Easily. pay and rent, not a single dollar coming in. Easily. So uh, kudos to you. Well done. Thank you. Uh, you want to tell you who that crew was? I'll just write these numbers down here real quick. <laughs> well, he's... You don't want to share the... Okay. <laughs> all right. That's all right. You don't have to. I wouldn't either if I were you. <laughs> um, I'll, just, I'll send you his contact. Do, do you, uh, and uh, we covered uh, while we we're on break that the Peach Cobbler is a franchise? That is correct. All right. Do you have a way to ask for other flavors and expand what they have to offer as we a franchise? We do, but team? right now, since we've grown so fast, when I signed on, there was only 12. Now we are currently up to 100 locations. Um, blueberry and raspberry is always a popular um, request. Um, but no, we have a test kitchen down in Florida where we do things where we're going to try to do introduce vegan and gluten-free options as well. I don't know how you do that with the sweet shop, but it will be introduced later on down the line. All right. Mm. All right. A little something for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, you have uh, multiple businesses and they're very different. Correct. Correct. Yeah, so you're multifaceted. It's very not, it's different. Not just like, it's not just like I'm... I'm uh, uh, doing uh, Sticking to food. one food thing. Which right. one, yes. Uh, if if there's, when young wannabe entrepreneurs come to you mm -hmm. and ask for your advice, uh, what do you tell them? Work hard and stay diligent and focus on whatever it is that you desire. I got to talk to one of your um, college friends. Courtney. Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> and Courtney says... She has always been like this. She has that. always been running wide open, always been working hard at what she's doing. And so that's what you would tell her. Yeah. Yeah. And you drive a Tesla, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. And absolutely love it. I tell anybody, I don't care. I love my Tesla. Gotcha. I do. All right. Do you smoke cigars? No. No? No. Do you have any uh, cigar flavored? Uh... Cobbler? <laughs> absolutely not. Mm. Well, that's a horrible segue into this next piece then. Uh-oh. Yeah. But uh, thank you so much for the tastes. Okay. You're and welcome. for coming and talking to us. Absolutely. What else do you want to say about the uh, the peach cobbler and or yourself? I'm all? just thankful to be here in this area. Business is doing very well. I appreciate all the support from the community um, from Statesville all the way down to Charlotte. So. Well, we love you and we thank you. Thank I you. personally include you in my prayers of gratitude. Thank you. Every thank time you. you pay the rent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to you coming to Mooresville. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Like I said, our our only issue is manpower. Um, right. It's just hard right now. I get it. Like I don't know what is going on. I don't know if it's politics or or what, but it's just tough. Is it money? Are people are kids looking for more money? Like I'm assuming that you we, have. We never had that issue. Um, I just think it's the lack of wanting to work. Because I can give you as many hours as you'd like, but mm -hmm. if you're going to tell me you got an eyelash appointment, that's an issue for me. I get it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well. Or answer the phone during the interview. If Joe or, were here. Or on your phone while you're trying to get trained with your AirPods in. Yes. Uh, if Joe were here, he would have good guidance and an answer for you on that one. Well, because we need he Joe. ran, he ran uh, well, we do need Joe. Mm -hmm. uh, he ran uh, a number of restaurants down in Charlotte at one time and had to keep really? those staffed. And I know that it is a challenge. And as certainly. the business owners come in, I do. I always question them when they tell me they own local businesses and things of that nature. The guy from Bagel Bin, mm -hmm. um, Hector with the new pizza spot that's coming in Cornelius, I always ask for insight on staffing. Um, there's a guy came in that owns several show Mars. I always ask for insight on several things like that. Gotcha. Yeah. And, but nothing where it's just not clicking they yet. They said everybody's on their phone. 
They said, we'll, yeah, they said, we'll yell through the camera sometimes. Get off your phone. Pay attention <laughs> to the customer. And mm -hmm. it's an issue. I mean, it really is. I'm old school. I believe in giving eye contact and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, different well, that's, generation. that's why you are where you are. Exactly. And Thank we you. appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Speaking of eye, eye contact in old fashion, uh, let's take a moment here and talk about our sponsor, Burner's Cigar Company. So I, I really do uh, enjoy cigars. I, I, I smoke about uh, three a week, I guess. I'd have never thought that. You know, because mm -mm. my teeth are fairly white. They're, they're, they're nice and, white. <laughs> and you don't smell like smoke. No, no, but uh, we have a special. Don't tell Joe I told you, but if you uh, go to Burner Cigar and hold up a sign similar to this um, and get a picture and post on uh, social media, then you can get a free cigar. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I want my picture. And I like, uh, <laughs> at Burner Cigars, uh, I like that uh, they favor uh, Lanceros, which are a longer, skinnier cigar. Um, and now that I'm getting into darker stuff, uh, more, uh, more rich taste cigars, um, I'm finding what they have uh, suits me better also. Some, a lot of their newer stuff is darker. It's not light stuff like you'd find at a department store, or, get, uh, or not a department store, a, um, a grocery store. So... Big fan, big fan. Mm -hmm. Burke Dale. Is that where he is? I wonder if that's where he is. Yes. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I hope he's smoking a cigar in celebration for his 30th anniversary. 30 years wow. he has been married. Wow. Yep. The, he has had 30 years. That's rare. <laughs> to pretend like he's listening. Yeah. Yeah. I bet he's really good. I bet she I bet she, she has com full conversations with him and not once does he ever go, huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole lot it's, easier to do it that way. It's it's how long you've been married? Well, the second time. My first my first marriage was thirty one years, eight months, and my wife passed away with brain cancer. Okay. And so we took a little break, and then my second wife, that is sitting out in the lobby, mm -hmm. Roxanne. She, Roxanne, mm -hmm. big she, fan. Big fan. Yes, yeah, she is. Me too. But we're working on 10 years. Well, Sweet. I take that back. I stand to be corrected. We have finished 10 years and working on 11. We started in 2014, and so we're at 224 and counting. Melissa, you never let a man tie you down? Not yet. I'm working on it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I've seen him work in the yeah. counter, too. He's there now. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, have, you taught him, have you taught him that uh, doing the dishes is not just putting the dishes in the sink? Oh, for sure. Okay. Oh, for sure. <laughs> he, he has OCD a lot, too, so it's working out I, very I, well. I like that man a great deal. Yeah. Every, every time we've interacted, I'm like, oh, I like this guy. Yeah, yeah. he's working out yeah. very well. I would say Joe probably puts the dishes in the sink and considers mm. them done. <laughs> 30 years into it. Mm. So, yeah. I understand, Joe. Yeah. I, yeah. At this point, I bet he he probably, well, we got a, about a minute and a half here, but uh, he probably doesn't even know what he's agreeing to when he says, yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, dear. Because he's not listening. Yeah. Yes, dear. That's <laughs> He's not listening, but it worked. It's worked for 30 years. That's good. So, uh, Joe and Ronnie, uh, happy 30th anniversary. And Joe, thank you for letting me... Uh, uh, run the show while you're Happy away. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. I hope you have 130 more. And uh, thank both of you for being here. Uh, Mr. D's Gourmet yes. Popcorn yes. and the Peach Cobbler Factory in downtown Cornelius. Uh, do either of you have anything you want to say while we've got 10 seconds left? Pursue your All dreams. Right. Pursue your dreams. All right, let's do a station call. WSIC. <laughs> What are our what are our call numbers? Oh, that's how bad I am. Now I'm going to be in big trouble with Joe because uh -oh. I got this <laughs> I got this far along, and then I I blew it at the last few minutes. But <laughs> <laughs> but I've had a great time doing it. Local biz now, your business matters. <laughs>